Meanwhile, a D.C. shakeup, Tony Podesta, he's the brother of Hillary Clinton's former campaign manager, stepping down from his role in the lobbying firm that bears his name in the wake of increased scrutiny from the Mueller investigation. President Trump tweeting, quote, he, referring to Tony, and his brother could drain the swamp, which would be yet another campaign promise filled fake news week. Here now is Fox News senior judicial analyst, Judge Andrew Napolitano. Judge he does have a point, does he not? I mean, these Tony Podesta epitomized the swamp, the K Street lobbyists, which is the swamp that he speaks of. Well, in fact, Tony and his company shared in common a client with Paul Manafort, which is the the former ruler. It's hard to say if he's a dictator or popularly elected. The former ruler of the Ukraine, who's the good buddy of uh, of Vladimir. But Putin. it just shows again. You have this lifelong Democrat Podesta, uh, the Republican insider Manafort, working together yes. on this one client. It shows that the swamp has no ideology and no party. Well, what I agree it's, with you. It's on just that. into greed. But what we don't know, and is very interesting to me, is what prompted did Podesta to leave? Was it his awareness of the indictment of Manafort? Was he doing the same thing as Manafort was, laundering uh, his money? Or has Bob Mueller been knocking on the door? And we just don't know about it because Mueller doesn't announce these things until there's an indictment or a guilty plea. Isn't it fair to assume that because so much of the Manafort indictment, which, which I, I assume you've read, I've read it, has sure. to do with the work that Manafort did in Ukraine with right. this, this puppet of Putin in Ukraine. Right. Same sort of thing that uh, Tony was doing, that Tony Podesta was doing. So did Tony register so did, as a foreign agent? He, which, which, exactly. Which Paul Manafort, according to Mueller failed to do. That's a felony to be a, a foreign agent, the agent of a foreign government, and not tell the FBI. Obviously, it's compounded if you're running a presidential campaign. I don't think that Podesta was involved with his brother. Well, what kills me is the chutzpah of his brother, John Podesta, now tweeting out things like, not bad enough that I was the victim of a massive cyber, cyber crime directed by the Russian president. Now I'm the victim of a big lie campaign by the American president. Here's a guy who makes millions of dollars uh, masquerading as a public servant, and he calls himself a victim. You know, I, I don't understand that other than that, you know, victimhood is, is uh, in vogue these days. And if you can get the crowd to think you're victimized, they'll start thinking about you. What nerve? Well, I don't know what the allegation is against. John Podesta, I can speculate, as we've been doing, mm -hmm. what the allegation is uh, against Tony. But David, there are no coincidences. There has to be a reason why he left his very lucrative business the very day, yesterday, that the indictment of his friend and Republican Paul uh, Manafort was announced. And wouldn't it be good for Mueller to show that he is hitting on both sides of the aisle? I mean, it this is. would this would uh, discount the charge that he's a partisan I, here. I don't think prosecutors should do this for this reason. But it would be an insurance policy to keep his job if he starts indicting Democrats. Judge Andrew Napolitano, great to see you. Pleasure, Judge. Thank you very much.